Hello, this is Dr. Shivaya Dure. August 30th, 1982 is the official day when the United States Copyright Office awarded me the first U.S. copyright recognizing me as the inventor of email for my 1978 invention. I would like all of you to join us in celebrating this very important day which commemorates the fact that innovation can occur anytime, anyplace, by anybody. I invented email long before I came to MIT. As a 14-year-old boy working in Newark, New Jersey as a research fellow, I was given a challenge to convert the old-fashioned paper-based inter-office mail system consisting of the inbox, the outbox, the folders, the memo containing the to, from, subject, BCC, CC, fields, carbon copy, registered mail, the address book, and the entire process of receiving, sending, transmitting, forwarding, and storing inter-office memos into its electronic equivalent. As a 14-year-old boy, I converted that entire system into its electronic form, and I named that system email, E-M-A-I-L, a term that I was first to create, given that the operating system at that time only allowed for five characters. All of this occurred in 1978 before I came to MIT. When I arrived at MIT in 1981, the president of MIT advised me to copyright my invention given that the United States Supreme Court was not recognizing software patents. However, in 1980, the Software Act was passed which allowed inventors of software to use copyright to protect their inventions. As a 17-year-old boy, while an undergraduate freshman at MIT, I wrote away for the papers, completed all the paperwork, submitted all of my code, and on August 30th, 1982, a young American boy was issued the first U.S. copyright for email, recognizing me as the inventor of email. To be clear, I have never claimed to be the inventor of electronic messaging. Electronic messaging, which is a transfer of text messages through electronic and electrical devices, dates back to the invention of the telegraph. But most importantly, the invention of email reflects the American spirit that innovation could occur anytime, anyplace, by anybody. Join us and celebrate the anniversary of email on August 30th to commemorate the invention of email by a young 14-year-old boy in Newark, New Jersey in 1978. This is Dr. Shivaya Dure. Please remember to vote in the Republican primary on September 1st, and I approve this message.